Hi, I'm Morell. I'm a digital media teacher at Orange County School of the Arts, and today I'm going to talk to you about gesture drawing and rough sketching. Let's talk about gestures, roughs, and thumbnails. These are three approaches to the early planning stages of art pieces, as well as important practices for illustrators, animators, and designers. Let's start with gesture. What even is gesture drawing? If you haven't heard of it, gesture is quickly capturing the action, form, and pose of a subject from life. It's all about the general impression, not specific details. It's also not just about copying what you see, but understanding and interpreting it through your art. Here I've added a sped up video of myself doing gesture drawings from a video of a dancer. Each of these gestures took less than five minutes. Notice how I'm not focusing on any of the details, but on the main movement of the body or the line of action and exaggerating certain aspects of the poses to convey what I want my drawings to show. So why is gesture drawing such an important practice? Well, it helps speed up your drawing and observation skills. It strengthens your understanding of how the body moves as a whole instead of as separate parts. It makes you not worry about mistakes because you're going so fast. And it's a critical skill for animators who work in motion, but it's also beneficial for all artists. Here's some tips for approaching gesture drawing. First, I always start with the line of action. This is the main line that the whole body follows. You want to draw it first as a guide for the rest of your drawing. Next, you want to focus on the main masses of the body, typically the head, rib cage, and pelvis. And lastly, add the limbs, arms, and legs. Practice using straight lines opposed to curved lines to give your drawing some contrast and flow. You want to use as few pen strokes as possible to keep your drawing clear. And pay attention to how the parts of the body relate to each other. How close is the hand to the knee? What is the angle from the head to the pelvis? Try out gesture drawing for yourself and put these tips to the test. Now, rough sketching. What is it? Well, you probably already have heard of rough sketching, but rough sketching is a preliminary drawing of a design or composition, often made with the intention of later elaborating and refining that drawing. It is not scribbling until you find the right line, but it's about clearly getting your ideas out on paper before taking the time to ink and color a drawing. Here I've just thrown up an example of a piece that I've done going from preliminary sketch through further refining and finally the finished piece. Shout out to Fire Emblem. Again, when you're doing roughs, you wanna work from general to the specific. Don't spend an hour shading an eyeball when you have yet to sketch what the rest of the body will be doing. It's very likely you'll have to erase your hard work. Practice drawing your first sketch by moving your shoulder instead of your wrist. Drawing from your shoulder keeps you from being too precise and will help you focus on the flow of the drawing before you get into the tiny details. And here's just an example of what I mean by drawing from your shoulder as opposed to drawing from your wrist. While you're drawing roughs, you wanna press lightly with your pencil so that lines can be easily erased and adjusted and your final lines can be darkened to stand out. Avoid chicken scratch lines where your pencil strokes are very short. Be confident with your lines, even if you have to redraw them a few times to get them right. And here's an example of chicken scratch versus confident lines. I think my drawing with the confident lines came out a lot better. Lastly, I want to touch a little bit on thumbnails. In art and design, thumbnails are quick, small sketches of an idea, often for composition. They're drawn really small, so it's easier for us to see the full picture instead of getting caught up in the details. Here I've included an example of my thumbnails for my webcomic with my thumb next to them. I may take the concept of thumbnails a bit too literally. You don't have to draw them quite that small, but small enough so you can see the whole picture easily. All in all, practice good sketching habits and making sure your whole composition works before moving on to the details. That's all I have to say about gesture drawing and rough sketching. I hope you'll join me next time. See you later.